Presentation. Without question, the graphics is where the game shines. In order to make sure that you can see the main character, there's a blue outline around him. You can't really see that on the Game Boy, but it's pretty bad on the big screen. The game throws a lot of references from the NES games, including Zombie Simon. They'll even have the same death animation. Most of these references are from Simon's Quest and only enough Symphony of the Night. The enemies are brighter and even have their own unique death animations ranging from subtile to the more extravagant. Everything has more animation when compared to Circle of the Moon. Enemies are more varied. And check this out, if you look closely, death spells death before unleashing his spell. You'll also notice that there are more effects such as glowing and sunlight in the game. Although they took it a little too far with the last battle. Without spoiling it, they put you in a room that is similar to this, but worse. I couldn't stand to play it just because it literally strained my eyes trying to avoid getting killed while moving around in this mess. It's too bad that they didn't do the same for music. Regardless of what castle you're in, you get the same music. Most of the rooms feature the same gothic mood. It's not bad music, it just doesn't have a lot of variety. Replay value. One of the mini quests in the game is where you find a room and you start filling it with furniture that is spread throughout the castle. And you would think that all that work you put into building this room would reap a fine reward, but no. You just get a slight variation of one of the endings. I thought it was going to be the uber awesome summon book, but no. They just stuck the best magic book in a little hidey hole. There are secret shops in the game, but 95% of the time, aside from potions, the armor has some fancy name, but is worse than what you carry. If it is better, it's usually by just a few points, but it's too expensive. You can't sell any of your armor, and there's no point in selling gems because the game rains hundreds of dollars in the candles. Even if you find better armor in a shop, enemies will most likely drop better stuff. Overall, Harmony is a lot of fun as long as you're willing to forgive the many missteps it takes. It's like it does something good, but then it shoots itself in the foot. I enjoyed the game more the third time I played than the first. It is a really balanced game and a lot of fun as long as you don't get lost. Some things like castle design and sound feel like they didn't get the attention they deserve. Look at this, the save point. It won't even heal special statuses. Circle of the Moon was a hard game but at least it would cure poison. Final score, 81%. It really is a shame because had they put a little more thought in some of the concepts, or a little more time, I'd consider it the best of the trilogy. With that done, we will move on to the first game of the Castlevania Game Boy Advance trilogy with Circle of the Moon, and wrap it up with a comparison of all three games. Thanks for listening.